Hello everyone, this is Dami from MasteryWebSolutions.com and uh, today we're going to be talking about how to create a Facebook page. Very shortly, we're going to be going through the basic elementary principles that you need to understand when you're creating a Facebook page. So, um, in order for us to create a Facebook page, all we need to do is come here to the right hand corner and click down and click on the create page. So that brings us here. To this particular um, page so um, you actually have six categories to choose from and each of them has their basic features you have local business this is for small businesses and startups you also have company organization or institution this is for large organizations and large companies and then you mostly find churches and NGOs under here then you have brand or product which is um, basically if you're like a uh, company like uh, Apple or Coca-Cola or UAC um, you can find yourself on that here you have artist band and then entertainment for those in the industry and then you have cause of community so there are six basic um, categories they all have their own basic features today we're going to be creating a Facebook page for a fictitious um, pie company which we've called Doristic Pie so we're going to click here and create that so you click on local, local business and then you click on the select down and then you come to um, so let's say it's on the food and grocery and that's about right or if you have fast food restaurants and stuff but then um, I think since it's let's just choose restaurant and then we'll come here I would say um, zero Pies. Now we just put the key. And we put Lagos here. Lagos, Nigeria. You see, it brings down the drop down. And then you put your zip code. Uh, just uh, put that there. And then your phone number. Yeah, okay. Let's just use this. And um, this should be your business number, not necessarily your personal number. Except your personal number is your business number. Then you can put this here. Because this will be displayed on the website. And it's the best way for people to reach out to you. So if they have the number, they can call you and ask you uh, some basic questions about your business and gather information, which they will use to help you good, um, have a good decision making process to buy your products or use your service. So you click on get started, and then that will take us to the next page. All right. So now we're here in another page where you can fill in more information about your your um, business. So you come here to category, and then you, uh, let's just say fast food. You see, that brings that up for us. So you have fast food restaurant. And so you can now tell people just the short description of what you do. So they will make the world's best uh, pies and donuts. Like, and just a bit of rhyming there. So, um, all right. So then you put your website, touristicpies.com, uh, and then it's touristic. Yes, yes. So once you're done here, you click on save information, and that should take us to the next page where we can upload the profile picture. So from here, we just click on upload the picture from your computer. Now you must make sure that your picture is monitored by 180 pixels because it's going to be displayed on Facebook on the desktop version as 160 by 160 pixels and then it's going to be displayed on smartphones as 140 by 140 and um, another phone 80 by 80. So make sure that the right uh, dimensions for the pixels for your profile picture is 180 by 180 pixels. So we're just going to come here and um, upload the picture. And then for your profile picture, we always advise that if you're having a personal brand or you're an artist or you know, you use your face, you use your face with a white background. But if you are a business, then it's best that you use your company logo. So we're just gonna put something there, you know, let's just uh, let's just use this, you know. Just for an example, but just make sure that it's 180 by 180 pixels. 
So once you're done with uploading your profile picture, all you need to do is um, save the photo and then go on to the next page. Okay, click on next here. All right, then we go on to the next page. All right, so it's asking do you want to add the receipt price to your favorite? Absolutely. So once you add that, then you click on next, and then that takes you to your preferred page audience. All right, so this is actually where the magic begins. So targeting is very important. Even before you create your Facebook page, you must have a great understanding of who you're targeting, who you want to come to your web page and comment and you know leave likes and all that. Because um, if you just leave it as it is as default, that's where most of the problems come in. So you see a lot of people liking your page, but they aren't necessarily interested in what you're offering. They're not interested in your offers, and then you're going to be having low conversion rates to your website and for your business. So it's very important that at first you know who you're targeting, you know who your customers are, and then you know exactly what they like to do, their interest, and Facebook allows you to do that here. That's why it's such a powerful marketing weapon. So for here, we're going to choose the location. So you see you have the geographical location of where they, um, they live. So you have three options. You have actually four options. You have everyone in this location. People who live in this location, people who recently um, just moved into this location, and then people traveling into this location. So it's uh, wonderful for you know for having a geographical targeting plan strategy for the people that are coming in, but people that are actually living in. So let's just say people living in Lekki, uh, Lagos. Yes, it's, it's powerful. And then you also have age bracket, that's the, um, the age that you want to target. So let's just say 27. Uh, let's say 22, because I didn't reply, so to um, say 45. So all men and women, absolutely. If your business is, is basically just for women, if that's where you click on here, yeah, or just for men, you know, like an all men site or uh, whatever. Then you click on that, but since our uh, offering is for both men, men and women, just click on all. And then you can click on interest, there's another powerful so you can click on people who are interested in restaurants. Yes, fast food restaurants. So it then brings us some suggestions. People also are interested in takeouts, yes, drive throughs and all of that. So once you're done there, just then click out and then click save. And just like that, your Facebook page is, um, is created. It's very powerful. Next thing we're going to do is to create a call to action. And so yes, um, it's going to show you just how to set up almost everything. So you just close that now. I'm going to show you briefly most uh, the most important thing that you need to do. So first we create a call to action over here. And then we want to create a shop now. You know, the, where, why is this as powerful is that people can come to your website and your Facebook page and quickly and quickly link up to your website. So for us here, we're going to link them up to the landing page where they could shop. So we're going to click slash shop. You can see we're not just linking them to the home page, that's the risk price before, but we're linking them to the landing page where they could actually purchase and see some nice offers that they would uh, like to get. So Alright, so now that is created, uh, the next thing that you need to do is um, just fill in some basic information about your company. So you just click on about us here, and then you come to page information. Okay, so also here you can fill in the hours that you work, and then your price range, your menu, and all of that. And then you can also come to page information. And just fill in the basic things, you know, when you started, hours of operation. You can add a long description and then all of that. And once you're done with that, uh, that should be set. So the next thing that you need to do is to add a cover. Now for your cover um, photo, it needs to be 851 pixels by 315. That way it's perfect, it fits perfectly on Facebook um, 
cover page. So we're just gonna click this 30% and uh, Yes, you see it looks perfect. So we just click on save changes. And like that your Facebook page is set and it's looking fantastic. So um, the next thing that you need to do is come and click on settings. And then just go through all of this one by one. This actually allows you to moderate your site, allows you to know I mean, those that you want um, if you want people to be able to message you privately, if you want people to be able to use some certain words, if you want to block some words from them being used, you can do that here, profanity filter and all of that. So, I mean, there are lots of things that you can do you know, to make sure that your page is as you want it to be. Basically, this just helps you to set the order of your Facebook page. So, once you're done there, and also if you don't want, um, maybe you're not true with what you're doing and you don't want to publish the page, you just want to add some posts before you actually publish the page, then come here and click on edit and then unpublish the page. Yes, I click on save changes. Beautiful, so you can see your page is unpublished, so you can actually work more on the page and all of that. And then if you also want to delete your page, you can do that from here. And that's, that's, that's if maybe you're, maybe you have a duplicate account or you don't want to use this Facebook page anymore, then I easily delete it from down there. So once you're done with that, okay, you can see it's spread out the information, pages unpublished. Then you can like your page, let's just skip this. So once that, all of that is done, you can also see the last thing I want to talk about is this. That um, you don't have a unique URL over here. But what Facebook allows you to do is to have a unique URL for your Facebook page. But here is how this number. So that when people come, they could type facebook.com slash touristic5 and that takes them directly to your Facebook page. But um, because your Facebook page has not been up for more than 25 days, you're not going to be able to get that. But once it's more than 25 days, you just click on settings and that feature will appear on that general setting. So that is all about having a Facebook page. If you have any questions or comments or all of that, you can leave them at the comment section. And also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be leaving you lots of uh, tips and lots of videos coming up on the internet marketing. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.